Hello friends. So in this video we'll discuss about Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for the coming week. Coming week we have monthly expiry and monthly expiries are generally uh, you know that week is very uh, you know trending. Generally you tend to see some you know very decent moves in the market. So like uh, if you see here uh, the white ones are the you know the expiry week or the monthly expiries you can see here uh, before the expiry week three four days you generally tend to get a trending move again see here uh, this was after uh, 26 12 uh, you know and this was your december week and one two three four days good move came and last expiry was on 25th of january which was here because 26 was a holiday and you can see before that also you got a good trending move so generally expiry weeks are monthly expiry weeks are very very important and you generally tend to see some really nice moves in the market so let's quickly see what is in the store for the coming week the first thing is uh, you know uh, if i go to uh, the gan levels so this red line is coming here which is a very very crucial line this red line is very very crucial uh, on the budget day also uh, on 7th of Feb it touched this level and from there we had a very big rally after that it has broken this level and from there we had a fall but not a major fall it has closed above it so probably once it starts going above 41216 then we can see it move till 600 and even 42,000 and let me quickly show you about nifty nifty has closed exactly near the GAN level of purple line and so basically it has to go above you know 17960 to see some good tractions on upside otherwise uh, you know 17972 is a budget day high also bank nifty specifically has been trading within this budget range only budget day range only which was a quite a big range so you can see here if i draw the lines uh, this was the top somewhere here and this was the bottom so for the whole of the month till date bank nifty has been trading within this zone only so which is quite dicey and you know there were a lot of people who are saying that you buy about you know budget day high and low and you you will see some good moves but this is how the markets behave they they act uh, you know uh, out of nowhere on the budget day only they formed such a big range that after that the market didn't do anything and there were no triggers altogether but yeah, uh, you know, uh, it has to close about this budget day high and low for some, you know, nice move. Otherwise, this grinding of the range will continue. And uh, let's look at the astro perspective first. So first thing is we are forming new moon on, uh, you know, uh, new moon on Monday, which is tomorrow. And generally, you know, you tend to see some good tops and bottoms formation around this new moon or full moon. See here, this was a good move, up move. A bottom was made and a good rally it made almost made a top and a good fall so this is one important thing which is happening so new moon is very very important phenomenon so first for tomorrow first 15 minutes high and low will guide for the day and uh, uh, if you are a positional trader note down the highs and lows of that day so you can easily capture the moves for the next three trading sessions now the next thing which is happening is the sun is sun ingress is happening so sun is moving in Pisces that is also happening you know it happened today so you know again the effect will come to, uh, tomorrow only and last time sun moves in Pisces we had a very decent fall in the market you know so generally it is also suggesting that we can see some really nice trending moves. see again after this again a fall came in so Pisces is generally considered so this was the top and from there again the market started falling yeah so this is showing us that the trend can turn into bearish but having said that again 15 minutes high and low that is important because astrology is not right all the time so don't make a bias that we will just short the market you know and tomorrow u.s market is also having holiday so generally i have seen whenever the u.s markets is having a holiday generally the indian markets uh, tend to go up <clears throat> 10 out of 8 times i have seen that so and this is 19th and uh, tomorrow one more important thing which is happening is uh, Venus uh, is also going in ingress and it is going into Aries let me quickly show you that also so I'll search here Venus Venus has a very very big impact on the market so you know 
uh, two planets are going in ingress which is a very very uh, you know powerful thing so last time venus went into pisces and we made almost made a bottom uh, almost made a top almost a bottom uh, kind of a small top so two planets are going in ingress one is sun and one is venus within two trading sessions this is known as double ingress this is very very important so you know i expect next week to be very volatile and we'll see some really nice moves in the market let's quickly look at the levels which i'm watching out for so uh, first let's go to moving average you can see here bank nifty is unable to close above this 20 50 100 everything got broken within just two trading sessions which shows that the market has been in a totally sideways zone so if someone is really bullish let the market go above 41 500 or above this line because uh, 16th like i told you was uh, you know uh, important astro event uh, Jupiter 36 degree of Uranus so they, they saw some you can see it in two days bank nifty has a very decent fall but if it starts going above 41 500 then the trend can change dramatically and apart from that if I look at my GAN bottom so you can see here again the price has to go above 41 430 so basically it let it go above 41 500 where a lot of open interest is also there then 838 and 248 you can see on upside and on downside if 41024 is broken then 4620 we can see similarly let's quickly look at nifty also nifty is here and you can see here uh, 18066 to 18070 is very very important it has to go above and close above this range for a move towards 18336 otherwise the market can go down all the way towards 17800 uh, budget day high is also 17952 and uh, the price has a good support at 8, 17850 which is your trend change uh, you know 20 day moving average and 967 if it tomorrow if it goes above 970 and 18033 these are two important levels like if it nifty moves 100 plus points then you know we can see very very bullish expiry so yeah that's about it so the trend change levels for the coming week uh, which i'm watching out for are as follows uh, nifty uh, 17932 uh, or 18,000 is my trend chain level 067134 is what I'm watching on downside and 17932 865 and 17798 on downside and for bank nifty 41159 about this 413645678744 and 917 and you can pause and look at these videos and below that 49544749 these are the levels I'm watching out for so we are seeing double ingress so definitely I'm looking for some really decent moves in the market the levels I've clearly mentioned let's see how market behaves thank you very much stay disciplined